Hi everybody. <clears throat> Good morning. <laughs> my hands, my nails, they look like crap, but <clears throat> I am here to do this little video. I know it's just in time for someone and um, I'm just getting a few things together, doing a lot of cleansings, um, cleaning, cleansing my house protection because a lot of people I feel don't realize that it's not on the 31st or on the or October, October 30th or October 31st that you're supposed to be doing the most rituals. You're supposed to be doing the rituals almost every day or at least do big rituals on the new moon and the full moon prior to um, Samhain or Halloween um, or the Day of the Dead. El Dia de los Muertos. So, I just want to uh, talk to you guys about um, benzene gum powder. And I know a lot of people use, like, cinnamon powder um, and, uh, I don't know, garlic, um, lemon powder. I, I use a lot of le lemon, lemon, what is it? Lemon pepper, sorry. Wow. Um, <laughs> lemon pepper um, in my workings, graveyard dirt, but... A lot of people don't talk about different powders or um, different herbs that you guys can use to connect with your ancestors. Ancestors wor workings are not just for the ancestors to do for you and protect you. Um, ancestor workings are also there for you guys to have a connection or keep a connection within the astral plane and you because you are part of the all. So for you to have a connection with the ethers, the astral plane, um, the heavens, whatever you want to call it, um, you, you have to be able to feed it so that it can feed you. So it's a give and take. There's always a balance. It's always a yin and yang. So now benzene gum powder is used to, um, well, I, at least I use it to connect with my ancestors. Why? Because it gives me power. It gives them power. It also, uh, has a, uh, the ability to assist you and make your goals grander or make your goals um, more effective faster. It also has the ability to cleanse your mental state of being. And your mental state of being is connected with your seventh chakra. And your seventh chakra is basically your connection. It's like the, the chakra in between the third dimension and all the rest. Um, is how I like to whatchamacallit. It's how I like to um, uh, describe it. So it's the light or the light um, connection between you and God or you and the heavens, you and the all. And where are your ancestors? They are in the heavens. And even when they reincarnate, that part of their lineage that connects to you is still in the heavens. Is still We're still multidimensional beings. So benzene gum resin allows you to have a clear mind. When you have a clear mind, you can see and feel your ancestors, numerology, um, anything that's going on in and out of the matrix. It gives you the ability to be more connected. Um, and therefore, it gives you the ability to be more grounded. Because when you are not grounded and you are not focused, you can't listen to what your ancestors, your, your angels, or your angles of light are trying to, uh, the messages they're trying to give to you. Um, benzene gum powder also allows you to have a, oh, I was just about to fall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up where all my herbs and stuff are. But anyway, um, a benzene gum resin, I mean, a benzene gum powder gives you the ability to um, keep things together. So if you are having relationship issues, this is a good powder to use. If you're trying to control people, if you're working with Santa Malta, if you're working with um, La Santissima Muerte, this is a good powder to use because it gives them power. power. If you are trying to connect with your um, deities or spirits, et cetera, et cetera. This is a good powder to use. Um, I think it, it's also a root, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Um, look it up, but I use the powder. Um, so you, you can use this for basically to obtain power. If you have lost your connection with your ancestors or you feel like somebody is trying to break the connection between you and your ancestors or the shifts are happening because if you follow your astrologers, you see that there are a lot of shifts happening and within these shifts, you can be disconnected or cords can be disconnected so that other things can come about or um, other people can come in or you can resolve certain things with other people. And so you kind of have to 
be mindful that it's not anybody's fault, not even yours, if you lose connection with your ancestors. It's just the shift. Um, it also allows you to elevate. So I always tell people, and I actually got two clients or two potential clients right now that are having the same issue. They do not feel themselves connected to the higher realms or they don't feel connected to any deities. Nobody's trying to contact them. They're not connected. Benzene gum powder would allow you to connect yourself. And like I tell them, I'm going to tell you guys, you have to deify yourself to be able to connect yourself with deities or spirits or your ancestors. You elevate yourself. Um, that's why you have a lot of people or you see a lot of people having connections with different deities, whether it would be um, an Orisha, whether that be a, um, a Nordic god, um, doesn't matter, or goddess, um, doesn't matter what you practice, but you see them working with different entities or deities is because they're elevating themselves to the level of those deities. So it's not a spirit elevating you, you're elevate, elevating yourself through the levels of the spirits and the frequencies. That's why I do not perceive entities, spirits, or deities with faces. I do not like to associate them with any sort of face unless there is something that they that frequency likes or that vibration likes to be put in their spiritual space in my house. But I don't have statues because I don't like to associate that face with that frequency because to me, they're not really people, places, and things. They are frequencies. They are connections. Um, they are vibrations. So keep your connections, keep your vibrations with benzene gum powder. I will continue to do um, more videos in regards to the separate resins, the powders, the roots that I use individually, um, excuse me, on this channel whenever I get a chance. And ancestor workings are not just for October, the month of October or when the, the veil is thin. It's every day. It's every Wednesday it's connection to Mercury communication. It's every Friday connection to Venus um, and Aphrodite and love and passion. Okay. Um, it's every day. Your connections are with them every day. It's just that when the veil is thin, you have all sorts of vibrations coming through um, or lowering themselves to third dimension to connect even deeper. And it's up to you to either continue those connections during the year and every day of your life or let them go and just experiment with them every certain amount of, um, you know, every year at October 31st. So just a little tidbit. Like I said, I will continue to make these videos in regards to powders, leaves, roots, etc., etc. Um, on my channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.